of the thing uh, allows us to use a uh, multi-user editing, provide multi-user editing supporting your application based on uh, quite, I think, well-known for developers uh, branching technique. Branching technique. It's, it's the same, uh, but I think it's, it's clear that uh, some CAD applications also start using this technique. Uh, and so we, because it's quite easy. So, well. There is an important part of uh, functionalities that we provide for our customers is a set of uh, universal services for common, highly required operation presented in almost every card related application. And uh, this slide presents overall structure of uh, TV components. As you can see, Visualize is a key product of uh, TQ framework. This component uh, has been developing for a long period of time and uh, it's a stable solution for the TQ format, native TQ format, which I mentioned uh, before. Uh, and, uh, but we continue working on the improvements in this area. We know some uh, improvements which should be done in the, for, for performance. For we, we supported some uh, new features uh, with visual styles and so on. Uh, and but this year we extended these components, these visualized components, with new simplified and adopted API. What does it mean for you? I mean for for, for our users, for users of digital kit. For users to it, it means that you can, uh, you, you have ability, uh, you have access to all, to almost all, to almost all TQ functionality in simplified, in simplified manner, just with implementing uh, rendering functionality, you have access to the store rendering, mobile rendering, web rendering, and what's more, Markup editing in cloud is also implemented in a universal way. It's available not for only TIGA native data, but also for custom data, which is embedded to the, our platform as well. And for export and publishing, publishing as well. But I'm not going to uh, say too much about uh, Visualize because we have uh, nice presentations with this live demonstration just after me in a few minutes. So uh, we also have presentations uh, for uh, for the formats uh, native to Tiga, which we support by our efforts, and what we would like to add is a successful story of uh, using Tiga with your custom uh, custom data and uh, with your custom data and. Uh, by the moment, by now, Tigger uh, uh, provides all abilities for this uh, for this uh, story. Uh, so, let's discuss it during this conference. If someone has doubt, uh, we can uh, show in details not during all the presentation, but also during the face-to-face. Uh, -face, I mean, one-to-one -one with small groups meetings. What we have in this area and how can it be done? How it can be done for for your application. Well, two things. I use it to connect all uh, those components mentioned on the previous diagram. Interfaces of modules, it's all those things. And other one is internal TV storage. Internal TV storage, uh, which is used not only for uh, revision control, for keeping revision control in an effective manner, but it's also used for visualized graphic data by other components. It's used by cloud application to keep markup editing data. And uh, I think we'll, we'll find more, more using for this uh, storage uh, in the future as well. This storage is available and it's open for every ODA member, but it's not the format for 
ex data exchange. It's just uh, internal, very important, but internal and uh, but it's technical component, technical component of the system. So it needs to be taken into account. Well, for components, the same as for different formats support, we provide. Uh, we are working, we continue working, we work, we work on usability and uh, usability and performance of our of provided tools, of provided tools. I mentioned already Visualize API, which provides simply an added uh, rendering and not on the rendering of uh, different data. We'll see examples of this. We'll add Publish API which allows you to create smart interactive documents in PDF containing 2D, 3D uh, data and uh, I think it's a great step uh, I mean Integra and, and, Integra, and uh, I hope in your application as well to provide uh, such uh, additional documents for interactive documents for collaboration with uh, your members but maybe it will be more clear during the publishing the presentation we continue working on, in uh, performance on our visualized system. We made some improvements, but a lot of work is going to be done, uh, even uh, to the end of this year, by December at least, but we're going to continue uh, next year on this area as well. Uh, we provide cloud, data cloud architecture, and one of the purposes, uh, uh, two purposes, performance, and the other purpose is usability of this platform. Simply deploying, simply deploying of this system for for users all of the cloud. Well, and uh, all of these things leads me to answer uh, to answer on questions uh, which I mentioned starting uh, starting my speech. Uh, certainly, maybe it uh, would be more correct to say uh, not answer, but um, the answer suggested by Oda and uh, we'd be glad to, to get your feedback on this on this area and see your opinion, what do you think about this and uh, so be open for conversation, for dialogue and uh, for, for work on improvements on other, other areas, on different areas of our toolkit. That's it from me. Thank you.